My name is Becky Hansis O'Neill, and I'm a senior producer here at IDEAM. Before that, I was an educator with the Idaho Museum of Natural History. I realized I love making exhibits, uh, watching people interact with them, especially using technology, so I started working at IDEAM. And something like Tangible Engine Media Creator is a tool that's made for people like me. And the reasons I could have used it is because it's easy to use, it's fast, and it requires no code. You don't need a software developer. All you need really is Photoshop and someone who's comfortable working with media. So we wanted to take an educational topic, in this case infectious disease, and use Tangible Engine Media Creator to really create a fun, immersive experience. What happens is users take a Petri dish that looks like it has something in it, and they set it on the table. It's recognized, analyzed, and then they find out what kind of creepy crawly they have and can it kill them. Anytime you're at a museum and you have a special experience where you're connecting emotionally with something, especially objects, you tend to remember them better. So we feel we can make more effective exhibits by integrating something like Tangible Engine and Tangible Engine Media Creator into our tool set. So you create your imagery, so that could be animated GIFs, that could be an MP4 video, or it could be just a static image. And you drag and drop it into different parts of the application and you build it out really fast. So anytime we revise this, it takes us, oh gosh, less than an hour to make a new version. So the parts that went into this exhibit were an IDM touch table and tangible engine media creator, and of course the tangibles themselves. So the table reads the tangibles, they're 3D printed with a special material, and it recognizes patterns on them. And the media creator takes those patterns and displays special information based on what pattern is being read. I think one of the most successful elements with this project is the fact that the tangibles look so cool. So these Petri dishes, they have goop in them, they light up, it looks like something that might actually be a little bit dangerous. So it's really fun to watch kids and anyone else pick up that Petri dish, wonder if it's real, and set it down on the table and get a surprise, see what they got. Did they get Ebola? Or did they get something kind of innocuous like yeast? 